Considering the absolute absurd nature of this episode, I think it'd be pretty easy for anyone to say the writers ran out of ideas because I don't think this one necessarily pushed the narrative or the overarching story in any way, but it's as if they were just spitballing ideas and everything that came to mind just got greenlit. Like I can only imagine that's what happened in the writer's room. Now there is a Variety article featuring Stefan Glover and he kind of alludes that everything that was happening despite how crazy it was was because the writers thought it would be funny. Something that I noticed was that all the storylines from Crank Dad Killer to Ernan Darius to Roberto the aspiring rapper, they all had some influence over the other. Now we've gotten that in the past but I don't think to the same degree. And not only that, it was all happening in the same area. While Alfred is fighting for his life trying to find cover amidst a shootout, both Ern and Darius are just out kissing in a van just trying to cop some Nike miracles. With or without context, it doesn't make any sense at all but this is Atlanta, I don't think some things are supposed to. But something that deeply struck me with this episode, and I'm pretty sure I'm not alone on this, was the fate of Alfred. Alfred. Like I genuinely thought at the very least he was gonna get fatally wounded or worst case scenario get possibly shot. Like I vividly remember being on the edge of my seat wondering what was gonna happen. Like Ern and Darius is right there and it would be quite unfortunate if they just found Alfred just strung out on the road because of a mall shootout. And I particularly blame this feeling on the fact that well one this is the series finale and two Donald loves to subvert expectations and for it to happen in the middle of the season doesn't seem out of character for him. But I'm glad that it didn't and it wasn't even the crank that killer anyway and it was just someone Alfred had beef with which I would say is still scary regardless but I think that kind of goes to show you that even back home in Atlanta Alfred is never safe 24 7 because this is yet another close encounter with death and I think so long as he's engaged with the rapper lifestyle this will always be a prevalent force in his life and while watching these scenes I couldn't help but make the connection to some real life examples such as the likes of X Tentacion or even Nipsey Hussle both of which died in the place they called home and so I do hope it at the very least Alfred comes out of the season alive because I mean these close encounters been happening a little bit too frequently at least once per season and I'm not liking that too much because at this moment all we can do is really cross our fingers and just hope for the best now with everything with Ern and Darius uh, man I'm not too surprised Darius didn't mind kissing Ern I just knew it would have been a problem the other way around like come on I think we all know that Darius is kind of the wild card of the cast and so this would have not been an issue for him Darius knows that they're both not gay and if it means not having to spend ten thousand dollars this is like a really small act at least in the grand scheme of things and in my opinion i think they were the only two in this episode that greatly benefited from the chaos like roberto got shoved into glass and honestly chose the wrong time to rap for paperboy like and Alfred, although he got saved, didn't seem too stoked about having to pay his debts by giving Doug a feature. The guy does seem nice and he did save his life, but I think as Ern said, It's more sound than music. Yeah, yeah it is, right? Huh? Some other things in this episode that I thought were neat, starting with the obvious, was Soldier Boy. Considering the title of this episode, Crank Dad Killer, it would have been something of a disservice not to feature the progenitor of internet hip hop and the inventor of rap. Like I had already saw the trailer for this episode, but I didn't get the gist of where this was taking it. But I think with Soldier Boy's appearance in this episode was definitely Atlanta paying homage and tribute to that era in music, a time where the hip hop was figuring out the internet, which I think most people can agree Soldier Boy was a big part of. And despite all the outrage just things he said or done and the means we got it would be pretty blasphemous to say that he did not have any kind of impact on the younger generation especially if we're talking the early 2000s but overall i thought this is a pretty good episode as i said before it'd be pretty easy to just say the writers ran out of ideas but i would argue they had far too many and episode six is a result of that and if i was to guess a theme that was common in all these storylines it would be at what cost and what lengths are people willing to go to get what they want because i feel like that's essentially what this episode was at least looking at it at face value I could be wrong, but what do you guys think? Again, as I said before, I thought this was a really great episode. It definitely sits up there with one of the more funnier episodes, in my opinion, and without a doubt see myself returning to it once Atlanta comes to a close and I'm just feeling nostalgic. Anyways, please take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one.